Okay, I'm on the lower, the north part of the Portnuff River. It's a really pretty day. It's been cold. I'm here with Idaho Lorax, and cleanups coming up. Earth Day's coming up, and we're talking about just how ugly this beautiful place is because of all these plastics that float down here and get caught up in this pretty impressive log jam. This is a great example of the fact that nobody here is throwing this stuff in the river. This river, this material here has come from upstream. A lot of it's coming probably from Trash Alley, which year after year collects materials. People throw it out of their vehicles on that fast area. It gets blown right into the river there, and of course accumulates in places like this. It interferes with our wildlife. And plus, it's just ugly. We're on the, Sam, the Sam, Simpson? Simplot. Simplot Swanson. Sim, Sim, tongue tire there. Simplot Swanson trail area here, which of course was a great part of the large beaver wildlife refuge. But again, do you want to live in trash? We're, what, are we trying to create ghettos for our wildlife? Trashy, poisonous ghettos? You might as well live in some places like those in India or something. Because this is not an image that we want to have for our city of Pocatello. So we always stress that people clean up on, clean, on Earth Day. At least one day of the year, instead of ignoring it. Now, I agree, the river is more dangerous in the spring. Wait a little while, the river doesn't get very high these days. It never actually goes down much here because it's a log jam. But, cleaning up the materials, that's what we're about here. Habitat for wildlife, that's what we're here for. Beautify in our community, that's what we're here for.